There is a new African in the world. That new African show that after all. The you black man is not awesome. managing the world of us. So, as the purpose of this cover, when you go to the Americas, you are also discovered. A time of gold. Welcome to another episode of the Cruise Line Podcast. It's your boy, King Amfo. Welcome, 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 welcome. It's your man, Nana, out here, a.k.a. Juice. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we got TFB in the house today, man. Yes, whoa, sir. whoa, whoa. So on the Cruise Line Podcast, what we say, we make the noise that the boat makes. So on three, we're going to make the pawn sound, like when you're on a cruise <laughs> yeah. ship. Yeah. Okay, okay. Exactly. You get the memo, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So on three. One, two, three. Oh. There you go, there you go, you got it, you got this it, you got it, man. Officially initiated in the family. Yes, he's been initiated <laughs> into so. the Cruise Line family, man. Tell the tell uh, our viewers uh, more about yourself, uh, your name, what you do. All right, all you right. You know, give 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 us the whole shindig of of, <laughs> of, of, of TSB and Caden Cook, man. Uh, well, you know, um, I'm in the design school with Juice, bro. We'd be doing graphic design. Grinding, yep. Yeah, working hard. Slaving. <laughs> yeah, that too. Uh, you know, uh, I do social media content creation for my Camaro page, TFB Camaro. Um, been building my cars, doing my thing, and yeah, here we okay, are. Okay, okay. This, this man is a car guy. He, you, re you recently got a Tesla a couple months back, right? Yeah, it's for sale now, though. So yeah. How much? 49 49 40, that's take, so bad you take food stamps <laughs> <laughs> nah, 49,000 what year is it 22 okay okay yeah. okay nice. just need to make room for other stuff bro it's, okay it's fully built and now it's like there's not any, anything else you can really do with it yeah okay. so it's like it's time to go of it. yeah because yeah. you yeah. fully like customize the whole thing yeah yeah and i like, that the three main cars, the Land Cruiser, the Camaro, and the Camry, those are like the three that's like, those are staying. Mm -hmm. Sentimental value, can't get rid of those. Anything else that I build, it's like, it can go. Okay. You know I mean? Okay. So it's like build and go, build right. and go. Depends. I mm -hmm. mean, the Tesla's cool. It's just not like, I don't know what it is. The electric car thing, I thought I like it more, and it's just... You get that anxiety from you the battery and you everything. Don't, you don't get the engine noise you're looking for. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I, got <laughs> no, I need that. I need, I need that. the sound, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I can't, that's so creepy. I can't tell when you're coming. What am I going to do with that, Dude, bro? It's, it's, it's like the dark night. Yeah, right, really like you get on it, bro, and it's like takes it's, off immediately. Right? I bet it's it silent. does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's silent, though. That's kind of weird, though. That's like we're on Mars or something. We're on Earth, bro. Let me yeah. hear that noise. <laughs> I know, bro. It's like a spaceship. I know. But, one of my friends has has one, and he put a speaker on it, mm -hmm. so you can have like the V eight sound on it. It's not the same though. But come on it's, now, it's a crazy. speaker. Bro, that's, that's, same, that's that's real mad corny though. That's a speaker like on your Tesla. Tesla. Speaker come on the Tesla, on, man. <laughs> let me let me. Get Elon would not be proud. Uh, Elon is not Elon gonna be proud, not with that be proud one, of man. that. <laughs> Elon. Well, he put the. I'm sure he put the feature on there. So hey. maybe. <laughs> That's crazy, though. So, um, you built your Camaro from what year? 2012. What 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 model is it? It's a Camaro 2SS Transformer Edition. Okay. So it's only one of 1500. Bumblebee. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you got that, and then you started. You just were like, okay, I want to, you know, build cars. Well, the backstory on that is my dad got me into cars, right? And it's just like, it's just been this thing that we've always done, and he got me that car. Believe it or not, he got me that car when I was 11 years old, bro. Like it was scraps. <laughs> Eleven. Wait, no. was it was it like <laughs> beat down? No, bro. It, it was, was a brand new car. It was used. Okay, at twenty seven thousand miles on the. On That's, a brand, car. Car. That's a brand That's new car. That's yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a brand new car. Brand new car. But yeah, he got it for me when I was eleven, and he told me he made it very clear. He's like, Kaden, this is. He's like, keep this in mind. This is not normal, right? He's like, I, no one gets a, someone a car at eleven, but like. Transformer is kind of like this thing that I like grew up on. It kind of like, kind of became like my escape from like stuff that was going on at the time in my childhood, and just kind of grew from there. And I guess kind of like, I don't know. Put it in retrospect, it's like that car was like kind of like the foundation of my childhood, and then building that with my dad over the years has just been like, I mean, dude, it's grown like crazy. I mean, yeah, Instagram, TikTok, it's it's nuts. You yeah. deserve it, man. You thank, deserve thank it. Thank you, bro. Good, how many man. how many followers now on Instagram? Instagram, I just hit 160k. 
Okay. Sheesh. And Good TikTok? TikTok's at, I think, 500 something. Okay. Half a million on TikTok. 500K. That's yeah. That's, that's <laughs> wild, man. Yeah. Everybody's enjoying You know, like, America loves a backstory, man. So, yeah. Once you once they picked up on what you were doing with building your car, they're probably like, oh, yeah, we got it. We got to keep up with bro. See right. what's going on. I think it's, I think it's more like, the emotional aspect of the car too it's more than just like oh the car looks cool right it's like there's like a story there you know mm -hmm. what i mean mm -hmm. i think that's what people follow for it is like the constant like oh okay this is why he did this this is the backstory on this kind of thing because everything everything goes back to me being five years old watching that first movie right you know what i mean right and at the time 2007 my parents just got divorced my mom moves to kansas my dad's in california i'm going back and forth and it's like Transformers kind of became like my escape from all the bullshit that was right. going on at the time, right? I mean, my mom and dad are super close friends now. I'm super yeah. close friend. I'm super close with them. They're like my best friends. But it's like at the time, you're like thinking like, oh, it's your fault. You're questioning yourself about different things, which is like pretty deep things to be thinking about at five years old, right? Right. right. And it's kind of like gnarly, right? And just being able like to watch the movies and like hold the toy and put turn into a robot. It. Yeah. yeah. It kind of like, I was able to focus in on that. And that's the thing too. Like being at five years old, most people will be like, Oh yeah, I was in trans. I was into this for like a year. Yeah. I was in this. You for got like it. Two people years. get over it. But no. You, yeah. You did it. That's the th I'm a super loyal person. And like, I always saw in the back of my mind, like I can't ever give this up. Yeah. yeah. Cause like that, that whole franchise kept my sanity at the mm -hmm. time when I was like super low. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's crazy. Cause five years old till now and you get um you get to meet the the actor, the voice actor for, for oh, Prime. Nice. Yeah. And your your car gets to be in the show Autobots when, when, when they do the whole yeah. <laughs> this guy. No, his his car got to be in the show for when they did the thing in Hollywood or something like that. Um, it was displayed outside the Peterson Museum, and they just unveiled the Transformer cars from the movie that yeah. were in the museum. Oh, so and they was, had your car show up? Yeah, it was outside the, of oh, the nice, museum, and nice. actual, the actual movie cars were inside. Right, but right, was, right, I mean, dude, it's super cool. That was dope, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, congrats. I got invited to the premiere of the new movie this past summer. Mm -hmm. I was one of the first people to see it in the world. It's just, it's crazy. What did you think of the new movie? I've seen the I've new movie. I've seen it like two days ago. Yeah. Two days ago? Yeah. Dang. You, it's not the same as the old ones. It no, no. The same. it's a totally different yeah. angle. I, it's they, like, I, th I feel like they were trying to um, relate with human bees right now. Yeah, like the, keep them Yo, as robots. Yeah. They kind of like that story. But <laughs> now it's like they want to be like human. And it was kind of corny. Or maybe we were just younger and thought it was hella cool. <laughs> I don't fair. know what it is. That's what, what, what would you think, though? Because you're more into it. I think they're going in a good direction. I think some of the human aspects need to be like toned down mm -hmm. a little bit. Like focus on the robots, yeah, because right? yeah. that's what everyone wants to see. Right. Yeah. If you want to see a human connection, you just watch like a romance film. Right. Exactly. Right? right. But... I don't know. I think Michael Bay still associated with the movies, right? He's producer, so he's still doing all the action and stuff on it, which is good because I feel like if you don't have that, then you don't have Transformers. But I think this direction that Stephen Capel Jr., the new director, did is uh, really okay. good. It's a new guy. It's a new guy. It's a re it's a reboot, right? Yeah. So it's like it's still people argue about it. People say it's a different universe. It's the same universe. It's just like a prequel, right, to right. all the other movies, right, and stuff. Hmm. Okay, yeah. makes, that, that makes more sense. So, you know, being a fan to being a part of the whole, you know, having a relationship with them now and with the page, what are some of the, because we asked uh, Dwight, he has a lot of followers on Instagram too. We asked him, because we know you get love and all that, but what are some of the comments that people comment on your stuff? You're like, oh shit, what the heck? You know? <laughs> Dude, I get a lot of comments, bro. The it's bullshit comments. <laughs> good and bad. Some yeah, of yeah. them some of them bad. <laughs> um, I don't know. A lot of them are like saying that I inspired them to get a Camaro and like I inspire I inspired them to build something. I got one the other day saying I inspired them to build a car with their dad. Mm. So like that's pretty impactful, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what you want to hear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's some that are like Comment and stuff about my arm and stuff like, oh, you should get a manual and they don't know the backstory. It's like, bro, you really think I can drive manual with one hand? <laughs> I mean, I have, but it's not easy. <laughs> yeah. But like, I think it's like being super appreciative and not forgetting like where you came from. It's right. a huge thing, yeah. bro. 
because there's a lot of people I feel like on social media, especially they get all this attention and they get mm -hmm. a big head. Right. And they think like, oh, I'm the shit. I'm the shit, but you're not anywhere yet. Right. No. Yeah. yeah I yeah. still got a long way to go. Right. I think, I think this could go way farther. Mm -hmm. It's way farther than just one car. I can tell a whole story with multiple. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like, I don't know. I don't know what the future holds with the account. I don't know what's. You just enjoy happen. the ride. I just enjoy the ride. Yeah, I started yeah. it for fun, bro. I started yeah. it as a joke. Honestly, I was at a car show with my dad. Couldn't even drive yet, right? He drove the car there. It's Camaro Con. It's a Camaro convention show, right? <laughs> Camaro Con. It's That's all, it's it. all Camaros, right? All different <laughs> Mustang years. Mustang Con. Or something. Yeah, yeah. It's like Comic Con <laughs> for Camaros. And um, we're there, and I start seeing everyone's little at on their cars, like a little sticker oh, on there. Instagrams. Yeah, okay. Instagrams. I'm like, okay, there's like green acid Camaro and like corn fed Camaro and lethal Camaro. I'm like, huh. At the show that day, I made an account. I was like, hmm, what do I name it? I was looked at my license plate. My license plate already was TFB. Mm. Right? And I was like, okay, I'll just do TFB Camaro. So, because I, I was about to ask you, what does TFB stand for? TFB, a lot of people think it's the fucking B or the fuck B. <laughs> oh, okay. Because you got the Bumblebee too. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of, okay. But TFB is Transformers. So TF, Transformers, Bumblebee, oh. Camaro. Yeah. Okay. 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 I never, I never thought of. Thought about that. You thought it was, you thought it was the fucking B probably juice. You're probably, like, yeah. probably. <laughs> That's crazy. So um you do the Camaro and then you do the Tesla or you do the Land Cruiser? Um well the the Tesla is pretty much already built from a guy destroyed customs. He's one of my sponsors. He hooked me up on the car. I mean, that car has so many modifications in it. Mm -hmm. At the time I got it for the price of what a stock one would be, right? Without the stuff on it. And obviously, Elon Musk kind of screwed us over, and the price on them <laughs> dropped like crazy. I mean, yeah, that's a whole different situation. That's yeah. But the Land Cruiser, the Land Cruiser I've had longer than the Camaro. Okay. Yeah, that's the car I literally grew up in. That's the car I remember my parents still together, like, with. So it's like 200,000 miles on that car now? 207,000. Yeah. Yeah. And that car is like... That car is like upside down in money. It's ridiculous. Yeah. That's the biggest money pit. People ask me like, dude, you got so much money in that Camaro. It's like, dude, the Land Cruiser has, it's, it's ridiculous. Right. Cause it's <laughs> like, I mean, you think about it. I got the car in 2005. Yeah. Dang. That's a long time to have That's a car. That's a very long Most time. Most people sell a car after six years, yeah. five, six years. Right. So it's like, if I had to sell everything and then if I had to like come down like the Camaro or the Land Cruiser, it'd be the Land Cruiser that stayed. Right. I mean, no matter what, because that car is like sentimental value. Man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That car is foundational. Yeah. You know, and then there's the Camry. Camry is super sentimental. That car, um, story with that car, that's not the actual car at the time, right? I was supposed to get that car for my first car. Land Cruiser ended up being my first car for my dad. My dad didn't want to give up the car at one time. Mm -hmm. um, he was like, dude, I, I can't sell this Land I can't give this Land Cruiser to you, right? It's right, your first right. car. I mean, that he he has some middle value. So to he trip. had, everybody yeah. was attached. <laughs> Everyone's attached to that car. But um, that Camry was supposed to be my first car, right? Mm. And um, it was my mom's car. She just paid it off in 2014. And then April 2014, we had a house fire. The car was in the garage. Caught on fire, lost everything. Car melted. Fireball exploded out of the house. That Oof. was the gas tank. Oof. Dang. Yeah. So then fast forward seven years later, I'm scrolling. It's like my senior year of high school, right? I'm thinking, dude, I love the I love the Land Cruiser. And I like I love it so much that I know I'm going to college. And I'm like, dude, I don't want this car getting messed up. Right. Like, cause people in college don't care. No. They'll bang it into yeah. stuff, right? They're gonna beat it up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'm scrolling through on Auto Trader. I know, I think it was Craigslist. And I see it. It was a 2011 Toyota Camry. I'm looking at it. I'm like, damn. I'm like, that's exactly what the car looked like. Mm. Exact same spec, right? And I was looking at different cars at the same price range. I was looking at like WRXs and like seeing like what I could get. Because like people are like, dude, you really built a Camry. Why are you building a Camry? Right? <laughs> at the end of the day, it's a Camry, right? I was building a Camry. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, it's a grandma car, right? Grandma or mom car. But... <laughs> I was like, damn. That's a fraud boy car. 
<laughs> Toyota Camry. Hey, Ghana, that's that's what that's the frog boy, boy is driving. Car. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the frog boy car. Camry or Corolla. You don't want a Camry, bro. <laughs> See, I'm pushing the Camry with a ski mask on when it's oh 90 degrees. Gosh. Or Civic. Or Civic. Civic. Mm, Civics are kind of bougie more for, in Ghana. Yeah. Really? It's more for okay. moms and because Civics and they be people, taxing yeah. for Civics, they're kind of expensive back home. Oh really? Yeah. Oh they, damn. Honda, yeah, Hondas crazy. are expensive back home. Yeah, they don't. Honda, yeah. Honda, yeah. Honda, yeah. Wow. yeah. No, Honda's trash though. That's Honda? you get that for fifteen k <laughs> in Ghana. Mm-hmm. See, I didn't even know that. I can buy some cars from Ghana, bro. Damn, what's a Camaro go for in Ghana? A Camaro oh. would probably be expensive. Yeah, I would think Camaro so. over a hundred k, a hundred k. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah, that's crazy. You, what, you could take your car back home to Ghana and you could probably get a lot of money for it. You get a Dang. lot of money. That's yeah. nuts. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's expensive. Depends on the kind of car, though. Because they charge like, uh, not to go off topic, but they charge on shipping. I recently sent my parents uh, a BMW, and it was like five racks just to get it off the boat. And then it was like two racks just to put it on the boat. So that's like seven racks and extra cost besides the cost of the vehicle. Yeah, That's what you need to get into, man. You yeah. can start like, I, I like the Tesla, business. bro. Yeah. yeah, but it's a it's a big business, but it's very risky because yeah. of like people are not gonna pay that extra cost. They're paying you the yeah. value for the car. They That's don't true. really care about the shipping. It depends stuff. on what car it yeah. is, though. Yeah, if you yeah. find someone that has a cult following, like dude, I was I was talking to someone in uh he's from the United Kingdom. Uh you know the the Defenders, Land Rover Defenders? Mm-hmm. They have a huge cult following in the US and like in uh Venezuela and stuff like that. Dude, you could get one of those defenders for like 15, 15 ish grand in the UK. You could sell it here for like 50. 50, 50 or more. But how much are they going to charge you for? To um, bring it over. Duty charges. Oh, uh, that's, and I mean, yeah, stuff, that's true. Know? It depends. Yeah, you got to think about that. Yeah. But I wouldn't leave it the way it is. I'd fix it up. You the, ones love, that, you, the ones that you are fixed to up. fix everything, huh? The ones that are fixed up can go for 100 grand easily. Okay. So you've made some good money with this fixer up or business. I wouldn't say that. You wouldn't say no, that. No, 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 no. Okay. Most most cars. Is it that you not modify, like kick, is it just like kicking off, starting off? Yeah, yeah. But you're doing it because you love it, not because like no, of the money. No. So you don't really care about the. I money. built cars with my dad. Like we built, we built two Land Rovers. We built a Mercedes GT, and it's like we wide bodied them. We put all these kits on them, put big wheels on them, right? Do you think you can help me build my? I was just I'm about trying to do some <laughs> stuff on my Mustang. Mustang. I got you, bro. I was just I, about I to want say a new that. steering wheel. I want a new. Uh, I got a connection bumper. for that. Helgato Carbon. Easy. Yeah, we talking after this because I got hell ideas. I'm you already ordering some parts Helgato for that. Helgato from, from yeah, Vegas. From Vegas. Yeah. Really? <laughs> he, built my, he built all my wheels. For real? All my steering wheels. And he then does. you're not gonna tax me hella though. No, I was just telling you the homie. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because. I was I actually put my car in the market to sell, but after evaluation and sentimental value, I was like, oh, I'm taking it. I took it off the market. Yeah, you gotta keep it, so, bro. Yeah, I gotta keep that. And yeah. they stopped producing that year model, mm-hmm. so I know after a couple of years that value is really gonna skyrocket. Well, so. especially when it's like everything's going electric. Yeah. Right. So them gas cars gonna be expensive. Some people still appreciate the gas <laughs> yeah. cars and all that. I don't that. think in our lifetime it'll ever be fully electric. Oh hell no. I'm not doing no electric. Way. No way, do bro. No. The world would probably mm-hmm. be over by no, the time. No, that'll, that'll be like that'll be like my kids' kids <laughs> yeah. fully yeah. electric. Yeah. But not right <laughs> so now, though. Let's no let's way. come, let's come, let's rewind Back a little bit. Back to the Camry. Bit. Back to the Camry. Yeah. So um you built the Camry. Yeah, I saw it on marketplace or Craigslist, my bad. And I was like, dude, nine grand. Same exact car. How many miles? Dude, that's the crazy thing. That's the thing I was thinking, like, dude, it's like it's like a godsend. It's the same exact miles as the other car when it caught on fire. Same exact miles. 119K. So it was perfect. Yeah. I was Waterline. like, I was like, dude, I was like, this is like literally like the car reincarnated, mm-hmm. pretty much. I'm like, dude, I need to get this. And it was in uh probably like an hour, 20 minutes away from me. It was in Palm Desert, California. It's not a bad drive. No, it's not yeah. bad. It's a nice drive. But it's out, out there cooking in the sun. Definitely. Right? It's fucking hot in Palm Desert. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I went uh, quad bike riding over there. Oh, yeah? In December, it was hot. Dude, yeah. in December, it's hot. Wait till yeah. it's like in July. July, it's br- July, August, it's brutal there. <laughs> and we get there. I'm like, okay. I'm like, we need to get this car. And we get it. I kept it low key for like probably like eight months while I'm still in high school because I got it in. December of 2020. I graduated in May of 2021. I was like, I don't really want to be posting that I have three cars. Yeah, people. Yeah, that's, that, that, that already <laughs> looks ridiculous. I posted it and it got really good feedback, bro. Because people were like, damn, 
I mean, it makes sense. I mean, you're going to really have the Land Cruiser be chilling at KU, right. getting door ding, beat up. That Camry's been hit like five times. Already. Yeah. It's been hit like five times. It's still nice, but like at the end of the day, I know like once I'm graduated, I'm going to keep that car because mm -hmm. it's built on like that fire. The fire and Transformers are like some of the most monumental parts of my life because the fire made me like, the fire brought me closer to God, first of all, because it's like, it made me realize like things can go like that. Mm -hmm. Materialistic stuff, you know oh, what I mean? it's temporary. Bro, it's, yeah. It's all temporary. It's man. all temporary. Yeah. And it made me like realize like, because I woke up in the middle of the night, right? Or my mom woke me up. She woke up in the middle of the night, heard cracking and banging in the garage, right? Dude, if I seen a fire when I woke up, I'm like, Jesus! Dude, <laughs> it was gnarly, bro. <laughs> they would have been like that. <laughs> they would have been. I got up so fast, bro. Oh, man. I got up so fast. Yeah, that was crazy. And it just made me like, I started thinking a whole different perspective after that. That's good. Yeah. And I was like, okay, okay, I need to build this car. Keep it. Take it to college. And then I'll build it more once I'm done with college. Make the most badass Camry there is. Right. Everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. That's true. And now here you are with a whole page of followers and inspiring <laughs> hella people. That's dope, that's, man. That's all I want to do, man. We're going to rewind to high school. High what, school. What was it like in high school for you? Like, um, tell us about your high school life real quick. Just give us a, a gist. High school, you know, I was super, dude, I was like, I think I was too academic. Like, I didn't enjoy myself enough. Were you reserved? I was super reserved. Yeah, I kind of like, I'd say probably, probably after the end of sophomore year into junior year, I started coming out of my shell a lot. And I think it was more like the fact like, dude, that the whole TAB account, that thing's a confidence booster, bro. Yeah, yeah. You're like, okay, I'm the shit. Right? <laughs> Not getting cocky, but you're like, okay, people are like respecting you for what you're mm -hmm. doing, right? Because I got people in high school, I got a DM back in beginning of sophomore year. I re I'll remember this because like, that's a motivator for me. Someone uh, DM me, he's like, bro, he's like, why are you posting your car? That's what he said? Yeah. He's like, why are you, why, he's like, why are you posting your car? People are saying that you're lame and you're in love with your car. I messaged him. I was like, yeah, you're right. I am. <laughs> what? Like, why do you care? Why do you care? Bro? High school, high school year is pretty different like, from high school in Ghana. Like, like, and we was posting our cars hey, in Ghana. Ghana, oh we was posting our cars. Like, so here, y'all got cars at 16 and stuff, right? right. It was like a gift. Happy birthday, sweet 16 car. Yeah. Time it's not Ghana. the same, bro. It's hell, hell no. Hell, <laughs> hell, hell no. no. Not even no your 18th way. birthday. Right. No. It was like, you posted a car. Oh, you got a car. Yeah, like, it don't matter what kind of car. It don't bro. matter if it's a you Toyota. Have a car. You have that a car. Crazy. Period. That makes sense. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's a big thing too. Is like appreciating it because there's a lot of people that don't appreciate that. They're like, you get it at 16. You're like, oh yeah, that's my a luxury. parents are gonna give me a car. Yeah, because this is everybody's doing it. Yeah, so you don't realize it's not normal. No, <laughs> it's not, not a normal, normal thing. Bro. That's why I always have in the back of my mind. It's like, dude, I was like, Kaden, no one has three cars at 18 years old. No one. And three cars a very, very few, very few. I mean, it's a random group of cars. You got a Land Cruiser, Camry, and a Camaro. It's the most random group you can get. It's not a collection, right? No, anything. it's not like yeah. it's all Chevy or it's all Toyota, right? But I don't know. I think the sentimental value is a big part of it. And also, like, being able to be like, okay, this is not normal. You can appreciate it for what it is and know that, like, not everyone can have this. And you can't be like, because I've never posted stuff being like, oh, yeah, I'm going to flex on my car, stand on it, think I'm better than everyone. It's just like, oh, I got I got different color calipers now. Post this little update on it, right? It's not like I'm being like, okay. I'm, this is the car. Yeah, it's not I, being I, like, I, this I, is the car, I'm better than you. updates on the upgrades. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's telling the story. Yeah, That's what I do. I'm surprised that, yeah. that that was the reaction you got from people. But you played football in high school. I did. What was you played like? football? I did, How'd you bro. do that? I did. <laughs> Yeah, I, pl I played football for three years. I played eighth grade through sophomore year. Bro, that's dope, man. That's inspiring, bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah. So uh, defensive hey, end. Okay. Yeah. So he's out here hugging the boys. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got in my head, bro. I was like, I was like, okay, I'm going up against Megatron. Let's run it. Oh right. my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope, man. Okay, okay. Oh, man. So yeah, yeah. How was practice? How was? Wh why did you? You should have played college. Like, uh, what's his <laughs> I name? Wasn't, I wasn't good. I wasn't oh, good. No, oh, okay. you weren't good. Man, I, I put just, you up high good. here, man. I, no, 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 no. I was just a part of the team, right? I was like on JV. I was never on varsity, but I think it's something like I can be proud of. You know? Right, right. Because like, dude, it took a lot. There was a lot of times where I thought I was gonna quit, like mid season. I'm like, dude, I, I can't do that, right? And it's hard going up against people that are fucking already 250 pounds and mm -hmm. they have both their hands, mm -hmm. right? 
as scary, to be honest. Yeah. Dude, the amount of times I got fucking, like, trampled, bro, so many times. But at the same time, it's like, that, sh- that I, like, dude, I made so many connections being right. on the football team. Right. Right? I mean, so many of my friends. That's the thing, too. In high school, I wasn't really, like, in a clique. I was kind of friends with everyone. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. So lo- it, it wasn't like the... I seen like in the movies and stuff they they got the jocks and all that. Th- there was that and yeah, was that? American okay. high school that, has that. That existed, huh? Yeah, it, it was a real thing. It was a. Was thing. it an all white high school or like a mixed high school? Mostly white, but there was also Hispanic and black. Okay. Yeah, okay. it was mixed. Mm-hmm. But um, I think that's the biggest thing is like I was reserved, right? I didn't really. It's not like I went out and partied in high school, right? But um. I was still friends with everyone. And I right. think everyone like kind of respected me for the most part, except that one guy. <laughs> but um, I think it was a big thing is like being friends with everyone and like not, not starting shit. And you know what I mean? And like, right. you don't really care what's going no, on around you. It's not you, like I yeah. ever got bullied for my arm too. Right. Everyone freaking, everyone like respected my arm. That's messed up. If anybody bullied you, they got problems. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, I've had some stuff like elementary school. I had stuff like where I'd take it off and people be like, Shocked by it, but right? Like, you're four. Well, you're elementary four years school old. kids don't got no filter. First time. No, 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 no. <laughs> and it's the same everywhere. No, yeah, but they I'm trying to remember have the worst comments. In I'm trying to elementary remember school elementary school, crazy, school. dude. If someone was like, "That's gross," bro. When people got <laughs> <laughs> when people got chicken pox in elementary school, <laughs> yeah. and they came back and their face was looking like polka dots. That's true, bro. bro oh they my would, god, they'd be like polka dot looking at chicken pox. My friend called somebody a Dalmatian, bro. Yeah. That's and bad. It's bad. That's <laughs> and mind you, they're not even white. They're black. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. So imagine a black Dalmatian. <laughs> Uh, kids don't That's got no horrible. filter, man. Because oh, yeah. kids, as a kid, what you see at home and you see at public, your brain is like, this is normal. Yeah. Your brain doesn't no, think that yeah. if I see something Especially different, on TV, bro. Yeah, yeah. TV would do it. So if your brain's like, if I see your brain's like, if I see something different. What the <laughs> hell? Oh, like you know what I mean? Like, why you got polka dots? Like it's <laughs> like crazy, that? yeah, man. Our, we like school in Ghana was a bully was system. Brutal, really? Yeah. Oh my god, we picked That's on how everybody. It is. Everybody will you, pick you on pick you, a, yeah. you pick on them. Mm-hmm. Like it was like, like retaliation. Oh about man, yeah. so it was never like a main bully. It was like everybody's everybody's bully, and you better make sure that today is not your day. You better <laughs> make sure you tough, bro. Man. That's how it's brutal. You better oh, make sure my you god. tough. You bro. better be tough. It'll make you tough though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it'll make you real tough because I'm. Everybody <laughs> got picked <laughs> on. I remember like, what? <laughs> You got bully well, juice? What'd you remember? Let's, let's see. Let's hear dirty, bro, we dirty all juice. Got, got bullied. bullied oh, we bro. all got not bro. bullied, but like I mean, made teased. fun of. Yeah, made fun yeah. of. Yeah, I mean that of. happened at our school. Yeah, but like, made fun of. But it they wasn't could, anything. They could they tease were, you to the point where you cry. Yeah, or like you could cry that day because they teased <laughs> you. Like it, it was that bad. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> so one night my mom pulled up with these toms. You, you, were there Toms here in the US? Yeah, but apparently Toms they were giving out to they were giving them out to charity, bro. We were so we didn't like, know Toms, that Toms like the shoes, the shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We didn't know that they were Ghana, luxury back home. Yeah, they there were was a luxury in Ghana. Right. They yeah. were pricey. I so, didn't know they were just out here giving them out. But uh, I, yeah, yeah, we didn't know it was like buy a pair, give a pair, or something like yeah, that. Something I heard. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't have shoes, those are the shoes you right. wear. Type mm-hmm. of shoes. We didn't know it was a luxury back home. It was luxury. I'm because you you pay you pay for that back home. Right. So. I guess we were the ones paying for it for people who get the free ones. I don't know. But one night, mom pulled up with a new pair of Toms. This is like a different design, not the regular one. You remember those? Not the little slip-on thing? Not the slip-on ones. This is like a different kind with the shoelace. I think. Oh, yeah. Bro. <laughs> I remember. I remember. Dude. I remember. Bro. <laughs> Charlie. Dude, you probably looked like you were going to school in it. I can't see you in a pair of Toms, bro. Dude, I went to school looking like Aladdin. <laughs> and those are like tap dancer shoes, bro. We was late for bro, we were with late. black socks long. Oh, you would think you just bro. You would <laughs> think you on top of the this world. This is a new kind too, so it had the the lace on. I thought I was like, damn, I'm about to beat the beat the, the new. Guy. I got I'm the new new. Yeah, damn. So we was late. <laughs> Everyone's a morning assembly. I don't know if y'all did that here. But every morning, the whole school gathers, and you're in, you're in your groups and all that. We did that, like, once a semester. Yeah, we did that every, every morning. morning. Really? Yeah, that wow. was middle school, though. Middle school. And 
So I pulled up on the back of the line, but I was short, so I had to go to the front because the shortest guy is standing front. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were short. Yeah, I was. I was. I was pretty short in, man, in he middle was little, school. Man. Yeah, Not I was short. He was little. I was like really little. So and you, skinny. you were a juice. You were a juice box. <laughs> <laughs> little juice box. That boy was a drop of water, man. <laughs> boy, I remember him. He was real small. Bro, I was with a really big small head. and skinny. <laughs> but I, hey, I was still a cool. I was still a cool guy, though. I was still a cool guy. But anyways, the girls used to call him cute because like he was just like <laughs> little. <laughs> you're probably hitting on them girls' juice, and you're like looking up at them. Anyway, Bro, tell it's crazy, but let, let me not even get into that. <laughs> So I pull, and I have to go to the front of the line, man. I'm like, okay, cool. I want to go to the front. I want people to see my new shoe, right? <laughs> Tell me what I see. I reach the front of the line, and I just hear giggles on my back. <laughs> Everyone's just laughing. I'm like, like, dude, what's going on? Like, like I, got, I 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 so after class, we, we marched to our classrooms and they're like, man, why you, tell me why your shoe that look like boots? <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Dude, oh. you, were, you were feeling all confident bro. too. You were going in the other, like, okay, I'm, I'm wearing my toms, doing my thing. Bro, that would just kill your whole day. You're walking around thinking your shoe looks like a boat, bro. <laughs> hey, what Co confidence what kill her, bro. That's a confidence. Because bro. <laughs> It's a poor memory now to him. He's like, bro, damn. I don't even know this. This is the first time I'm here. Dude, this bro. They say I shoot at Jet Boots. Bro, Boots. Since then, I never wore that shoe to class. No never. No way. Really? Never. Yeah. I but was I like, bet nah, you know what I I'm done with that shoe. You, you kept them, though, didn't you? Oh, yeah. You know <laughs> what church. I peeped out? The people. Because okay, people at church are cool. Yeah. The, people, <laughs> the people that laughed were the people that either couldn't afford it or, like, they didn't have it. That's, That's really like true. When yeah. we got older, I was like... I was looking back on all the people that maybe made fun of me or I made fun of them. And at that age, I was like, oh, that's because I didn't have that. Or that person must have been insecure. Right, like a jealousy thing. Like, I, And it was. It was really yeah. it was really a thing because, bro. <laughs> so I remember because we were in middle school, right? And we we're learning French. And then I was in like the second grade. I had been in the school for like, what? Five years because we did, I, I did kindergarten in that same school. So our year we transferred. The kindergarten was located at a different location, and then you were transferred to the big school where the high school kids are there, the kindergarten school kids are there, the middle school kids are there. <laughs> you guys school. are all in the same building. Yes, not building. It's like blocks. It's like oh. a campus. It's a huge oh, okay. campus. Yeah. So you're you could be on your block for like five six years till you move to the other block. Oh jeez. So they taught yeah, us French, and then then it be Shafiki Jazzy, bro. <laughs> So Shafiq just, I guess they taught us a, a sentence that says, like, um, something is ugly. And then Shafiq goes, Nana Sichi and Le. I'm like, wait, what? What? <laughs> and he carries this, bro. <laughs> he carries this, bro. So I'm like, wait, what? Shafiq probably doesn't even know I remember this till this day, bro. Wait, so he so, teased you with that the whole The, the whole, whole year. year. I was like, bro, where did you even come up with this from? Like, where did you randomly just pop this up from, bro? Bro, like, they would just make the most random things. But now I look and back. call you out on. Call bro, you out now on. now I look yeah. back. And at the time, Shafiq was fat. So he just had to. So you should have been like, yeah, Shafiq. Yeah, no, so Shafiq he was trying to do. <laughs> so he was trying to deviate the attention. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, wait, where did this even come from? Like, what? You know, but. That's what we did as kids, and it was crazy because apparently some kids, we were able to handle it because it was like, yeah, hey, whatever. Right, know? yeah. But some kids probably couldn't handle that, you know? No, but you probably had them in the counselor's oh, office. Man, yeah. They were probably, like, crying oh, and yeah. stuff. But we, did, we didn't care, man. Shout out to everyone. I mean, it's character building, though. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Shafiq. He, he doing his thing. <laughs> <laughs> man, but crazy. He his thing, Jeez. Yeah. But it builds your character, though. It does, yeah. it does. What, what, what was it like with you and girls, though? In high school? Was, yeah. Maybe let's start high school and then we'll come to college. High school wasn't much of anything. I was mm -hmm. just doing my thing. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even really thinking about that stuff, you know? Were you in a high school relationship? Not really. I had things with people, but not what's, actually. What's, what's defined as a thing? Talking for talking and going out for like a couple weeks, a couple months. Not really ever being exclusive, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Stuff got real more serious like college. 
I feel like college, every every summer break I get, I get a girlfriend. <laughs> <kind of weird. laughs> so, he had a girlfriend so, tour, y'all. Someone <laughs> called me out about that. They're like, Kaden, why do you get a girl every summer? I'm like, I, it's a summer I, relationship. I, don't know. I, guess, I guess it's like a summer fling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Every summer, so, new baby. <laughs> so, so have you ever have you ever had a girl be like, I want you to stick it up me type stuff? <laughs> With the nub? Yeah. Hey, we got to hear the crazy stories, dude, man. Dude, oh gosh. I'm about to get called out now. <laughs> yes, bro. Shit. I've had a few people being like, I've had a girl before being like, yeah, just so you know, we're not going to be doing that. I was like, and she oh, thought you were thinking about that. She thought you were thinking about that. that. She was thinking about that. She was bro. thinking about She was definitely it. thinking about that. She had to bro. be thinking about that to say that. I'm like, I don't want to make you a sock puppet. That's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> That's not happening. That's too much, bro. <laughs> she wanted you to stick it in, bro. Dude, I would never be able to look at my nub the same. I'm like, damn, you, I put you through that. No, you that's got not. A fist. Nope. <laughs> nope, not doing that. No, no that's crazy. That was college? That, pfft, dude, I think that was high school, bro. That was oh, that was school? high school? Someone she said, was thinking about that in she high like, school? She's like, just so you know, we're not going to be doing that. I if she's like, thinking about that in high school, I wonder what she's thinking about she in college. <laughs> I don't know, choo, bro. Choo-choo. <laughs> <laughs> but damn really yeah bro That's that was crazy. high school i don't like i don't know i think a big thing with like girls with me it's like it depends on like how they perceive me at like beyond my arm okay because i feel like a lot of people get judgmental about that stuff why but would you say a that? lot of people wouldn't even know you have one arm when they see you that's the thing though juice when we go out bro i'm telling you every time i wear long sleeves i didn't even know you had one arm first no, time i, I seen you. that's true but like when I have long sleeves on and people don't notice it, more girls talk to me. That's isn't that weird? And when uh, I when I don't have long sleeves on, you can clearly see that's a prosthetic. It's kind of like oh, I'm gonna avoid that because it's different, which is weird. But dude, I don't care because it's like if you're gonna show me your true colors and you're not yeah, gonna like yeah, me because yeah, I have yeah. one arm, then why would right, I why associate would you myself waste your with energy? you? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I, if your dad was was saying a lot of stories. Of Jonathan? No, things that happen in Vegas. Yeah, dude, there's so many stories. So I'm like, bro, Dangerous. Uh, that's you, crazy. You can get right? roofied, right? Right. Robbed, right? I know people that are robbed in Vegas. And she was huge. Yeah. She could have beaten him up. Like, yeah. <laughs> she was she huge. She was huge. She was good looking. She, she was, was like woman. Meg, Meg type of huge where she could she could but fight. But she could be, he was a she small Asian. She he, was, he was say, a small I, I Asian. He's not small, small, but he's not built. He, yeah, scrawny about five foot ten. Not scrawny, but no. he's just like he's just a normal. Basically, she could have whooped him if she wanted to. With with the handbag, he, yeah, he, he'd probably be down for it though. I don't know. <laughs> love John, you, man. And love you, bro. <laughs> man. <laughs> funny don't, guy, though. Funny guy. He is such a funny real guy. nice guy. Real nice guy. <laughs> he was, he took, he's like, Caden, let me have your arm in the club. I was like, okay. And he took it. And he's like. Yo, yo, it your videos are on uh, uh, bar stool and stuff with your arm. Yeah, man. that became a trend. People dancing with my arm. People taking shots out of my arm, which is disgusting. Oh, they took shots out of the arm. Some guy from Missouri State was at the bull, and he was like, <laughs> "Bull's the bar in Lawrence." <laughs> right. And he's like, he look looks up to me because I was just dancing with my arm with my friends, and he goes up to me. He's like, "Bro," he's like, "How much to take a shot out of it?" <laughs> I was like, "What?" And he's like, can I please just take a shot of your arm? I'll just fill it up with fireball and take it. I was like, okay. I was like, two things. Number one, I got to record you. Number two, you're buying me a, a drink. You got you got the video? Yeah, I got the video. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put this in the corner where we edit this video for real. <laughs> they got to see that. Dude, he took that shot like a champ. I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm like, bro. That's my, the arm effect, my, bro. My, <laughs> arm's like a, my arm's like a shoe. Yeah, like, yeah, When I get up and get ready for the morning, like, get, get ready. Like I'm like, okay, I got to put my shoes on and my arm. <laughs> And he drank out of it. He drank out of it. That is <laughs> nasty, man. <laughs> that is nasty. He's just, he just holding it like this, and he takes it. No, I like, see. Oh I see. Bro, why do people do that? Like weird shit at the bars, bro. I see him drinking out of shoes. Too. Uh, to, to be fair, I have taken a shot at my arm before, but it's my arm. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't even know this. Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you drink out of your shoe, though? No. Hell no. I wouldn't drink out of my shoe. So I see people drinking out their, out their shoes. shoes. That's weird. They took shots. I saw someone do that at the KU football game. Oh man! I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Mm. You're like, you're. That's what you're walking. Yeah, man. Y'all white people be on some stuff. Uh, he was a white dude. Yeah, for, a white dude from Missouri State. So that's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that explains it. That explains, that a, explains, lot. explains a lot. That explains a lot. That's crazy though. Bro. He took a shot. 
took a shot out of it. I think he was ashamed, bro, because he he text or he he asked me, he's like, bro, can I get your snap? I was like, sure. And he got it, and he's like, dude, send me that video. I sent it to him. I think he was so ashamed that he unadded me after that, bro. <laughs> Maybe he just wanted the video real quick. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But dude, I thought that was so funny. I'm like, bro, okay. Bro, didn't want to get tagged. <laughs> I've seen all the videos. I've seen the girls holding your day, arm. Though. I've seen the girls holding your arm with the fuck K State. But they yeah. love, yeah. You know, man. Seen... They love to be doing all that, yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> so I know, I know, that. I know. The arm is scoring you some points. It has. Yeah, the arm's, I bet got, it is. The arm's gotten me lucky. Yeah. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> That's like some, uh, uh, what's the movie, uh, 21 something on, uh, they got the, God, it was the three friends, they go to Vegas, the first movie, that, it was like, what Hangover? Hangover. Hangover, yeah. Hangover. That's what our trip was yeah. like. Yeah, that's, yeah, That's what it sounds like. Yeah, it was. So we took the arm off in Vegas, right? The what? We took the arm off in Vegas. Jonathan took it off. Yeah. He was pumping he just, in the air. He, he just yanked it? Everyone, else, everyone around was like... Well, I had my watch on too. I'm like, dude, I don't want my Apple Watch getting messed up. I'm like, Wait, I was like, someone put it on my other wrist real quick. <laughs> and then Dax Get asked that watch for me. <laughs> Dax asked me. He was like, bro. He's like, why? Why are you not wearing on your other wrist? Like, you wear watches on the left wrist. I'm like, Dax. Like, how am I gonna be touching the Apple Watch with this hand? <laughs> Like, are you serious right now? I was like, well, oh yeah, let me just check my heart rate, like, my fake arm. What's funny is I actually, I was actually about to ask, why don't you just wear it on your left? But yeah, you can't touch I it. I can't touch anything. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can scroll the wheel. Just right, be like, right, right. I mean, I don't know. Right. That's funny. Yeah, I was like, okay, John. Before you take it off, I got, I got to switch this real quick. Yeah. Because like, if he drops it, then this is screwed. Yeah. Right. What's the What's the toughest thing you've had to do, like with one arm? toughest thing because i'm sure you've adapted like you probably do everything yeah yeah I, me and juice work out together and i have my workout like specific, like specific arm. workouts yeah. yeah it like has like a ratchet strap and it can like mm -hmm. clamp onto dumbbells okay. and bars right so it's like it's super helpful that's dope yeah 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 and i tried to get into the whole myoelectric arm where it moves and everything but dude those oh are, that's they're, terrible they're 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 bad Really? Oh, they're, they're still a long I way thought, to like, go. I like they connect because I seen a video that, like connects to your nerves and uses like the yeah yeah it motion can. Thing. But to, for me personally, I've had an arm. This is called a passive. Mm -hmm. A passive arm means that it doesn't move, it just stays like put. It's right. like a mannequin arm. Right. And I've had the, an arm like this since I was four or five months old. So you're used to it. I'm wow. used to it. But I I've had an arm that moves before, bro. And they put the battery at the end of the hand. And I only have my elbow, so you have all that leverage. Oh, that's heavy though. It's heavy. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so uncomfortable. I mean, uh, maybe they have one that's like evenly distributed where it's like a battery here, a battery there. Mm -hmm. So it's like all the same. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's just a lot of weight in yeah, one yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, When you're used to whatever you've been used to, you really don't care if it's moving no, or not. I do everything on my left anyways. Right, It's right. kind of like it'd be cool to get like just to be like a gimmick. Right, right. Because like I don't Wait, know. So how, how does it move though? The nerves. You can tap it in your nerves. Yeah, yeah. And like because I still have the nerves to do mm -hmm. if I had one. Uh, both hands uh -huh. right yeah i still have those nerves like working it's just like being able to have that connected to it and being able to like think okay let me open this let me close this right the arm that i had was um it was connected with electrodes and electrodes work where you i flex my nub one way because i still have my elbow joint mm -hmm. flex my nub one way it opens flex my nub the other way it closes mm, just two directions just two directions okay. and that arm i think is like fifty thousand dollars Fifty time. racks. Yeah. Fifty racks. For something you will use something, maybe something all the time. I, something I hardly use. Yeah. I mean insurance nice. helps a lot, right? Right, right. Sometimes, depending on it. But you still pay monthly. Like Yeah, dude. It's it's a I mean, prost I want I want to help with that. That's a big thing I want to do. Like I want to get involved with like the Limbs for Life Foundation, mm -hmm. bro, because not everyone can get a pr arm. Right. Not everyone can get a leg. They I don't feel like a leg for it. Uh, dude, lower limb prosthetics are a way bigger deal. Yeah, my cousin lost his leg. Yeah. He really? Lost, yeah. So he's bike riding. He was bike riding. Jeez. Leg got caught. <laughs> took the whole thing off. So yeah. he's they cut it, I think. I don't know how far up, but it was pretty far up. Does he have a prosthetic? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a prosthetic. Okay, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. You know. But at some They're point expensive. you don't Oh man. At some point, you don't even, like, he walks normal. Like, you can't even tell. No, yeah. yeah. You get acclimated to it yeah, pretty yeah. easily. But I remember when he first started, it was, like, real. took some time. But you were born. So That's a big thing. Yeah, that's, that's a different. I heard, thing. like, when you lose it, it's way worse. Yeah. You, I don't you know, don't know, I don't know, you don't know, know what it's like no, no, to have yeah. a right arm. No, yeah. exactly. That's a, th that's a big thing, too, especially when pe people ask about my arm. And they're like, dude, I'm so sorry that happened. 
So sorry. Yeah. Like, why are you sorry? Because this is how I was born. Yeah. You, the, the way I see it, bro, that's the way God made me. Right. Yeah. That's you. That's that was his image. He's like, okay, he's gonna have one arm. He's gonna be able to like yeah. do everything the same. Right. Right. You're not missing out on anything. No. Right. Not at all. What are the? Because people ask you, you know, what happened? What are the top two or three stories that you said like, as a joke? Obviously, I've said I was on an African safari. <laughs> <laughs> and a lion jumped and, and bit it that? off. Dude, I've... <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no way. Like, ain't like, no way. I was a lion. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. They're like, are you serious? I'm like, no. I was born without it. It's called, it's called amniotic banding syndrome. <laughs> they, they don't get sarcasm, though. <laughs> no, they don't get it. <laughs> they don't I, get it. I've said that I was a shark attack. I was like, oh, yeah, you ever seen that movie Soul Surfer? That was me. And they're like, the Soul Surfer was a girl. I was like, yeah, but it's 2024. You don't know, bro. <laughs> You don't know that's nowadays. Crazy. Oh my god, man. You said it was called what? Soul Surfer? No, 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 not the movie. You were I think you were trying to describe A amniotic banding syndrome. Okay. Yeah. So that works like when you're in the womb as a baby, there's all these bands hanging, right? Like vines. Mm -hmm. And basically I think it's like to protect the baby. I guess there's just they're just hanging there, right? Right. And um I I guess I was super active in the womb, bro. You I was got, out here punching. I got tied up in it. <laughs> yeah. And I cut off circulation. And it prevented it from growing. Right. So it stunted my growth right at the elbow. Mm -hmm. Right. And um, and my, my mom and dad, they didn't know till I was born that I had one right. hand. That's not what you're right. going to know. Mm -hmm. And um, I think, like, I'm so grateful for my mom and dad. Yeah. Like, they've, without without my family business, I wouldn't be able to have a prosthetic arm. wouldn't be able to have the Camaro. Right. wouldn't be able to have all they these different things. They took good care of you. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, I want to be able to, like, Pass that on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pass that on. Right. Definitely. Yeah. And, like, I want to get involved in, like, trying to, like, bring more awareness to the limb differences. Because mm -hmm. I feel like there's a bunch of other stuff that's in the spotlight. And kind of, like, limb loss has kind of, like, right. not been in, like, right. the spotlight mm -hmm. recently. Because, mm -hmm. like, you had movies, like, you had Dolphin Tail and, right. like, Soul Surfer and all this. And then, like, so a lot of it just disappears. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, when it's trending is when you see it in the limelight. That's what it is. That's so what it is for a lot if of things. If it's trending, like, oh my god, this person or this celebrity, did yeah, this or this. But if it's because it's a it's an issue, people are going. No, through I it, want it to be know? an ongoing thing because, dude, people yeah. can't walk. Yeah, yeah. That's a. I mean, dude, I don't need a prosthetic. Mm -hmm. I could live my life just, just just fine without it. Yeah, it helps with my stability. It helps with me like carrying certain things, mm -hmm. right? Even though it doesn't move, I can still hold stuff better. Right. But dude, especially with like people without their legs, like you need that. You can't be just living your life in a wheelchair. Yeah, that's true. You need to have yeah. like being able to be like to like have that be empowered, you know? And being able to like make a difference. I think yeah. that's a big thing. That's dope, man. You you got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I do. I do. But, but you're on the right path for sure. Yeah. You're definitely on the right path. And we we gonna continue to support you, man. Thank you, bro. You know, yeah, for sure. We're we're all about um just supporting one another, making sure because everybody should be able to enjoy their life and live life to the fullest. Yeah. And there shouldn't be nothing stopping nobody from living. Like exactly. that's the basic need. Like everybody should live, mm -hmm. you know? So that's real dope, man. I've heard some of the wild stories. He'd be telling me some of the craziest adventures we got a lot that y'all been on and stuff. So we got a lot of stories. Freshman freshman year, the amount of times juice would hand my arm to girls. <laughs> How, bro, is it not attached though? How would they just pop it off? Oh, it's you easy. gonna show the people? It's easy. <laughs> Are you gonna show, show the show the fans? I got long sleeves on, but hold up, hold up. Let me roll it up. He's gonna pop it off for y'all, man, and pass this is it to exclusive you. Pass content. it to the cruisers. This is exclusive. This is my pass it, pass this is it my only fans cruisers. right here. <laughs> <laughs> only fast ten dollar subscription Hold man. Up. there we go so you just pop oh okay so it's like a socket yeah it's yeah, a socket yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. actually is what it's yeah. called it's a socket and then you got to do the little hawk thing the, the little like they, they be, uh, wait, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's the, hawk, of, thing. the hawk thing. That's what I call it because you guys. That's do where the it's hawk originated. The hawk. The hawk. We don't really go there anymore. Seen, all the videos I've seen, it was the hawk. Dude, I remember yeah. the first night. I first night you went to the hawk. I took you that, there that first be, night. That's when it became a thing. The yeah. first night you first introduced night. me to Lawrence Nightlife. Yeah. So how do, you guys met in class? I'm guessing. Yeah, we met on a project. 
Okay. Dude, I... And we were in the same group for yeah, the project. Yeah, we, we were butting heads in that project. <laughs> like, disagreeing <laughs> with the concepts and stuff? No, nah, I'd be like, Juice, this is due... That, I was like, this is due tomorrow. When are we going to be working on it? He's like, man, I don't know. He on Ghana... <laughs> he, on, he on GMT. <laughs> Ghana Man Ghana Time. Man time <laughs> he on Ghana Man Time. Yeah. I was like, dude, I was like, this dude half-asses everything. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what I realized with Juice, he's such a hustler, bro. And like... <laughs> Dude, his classwork? I'm like, dude, I was like, Juice, all love, bro. I was like, I've, I've told you this before. I was like, your classwork's mediocre compared to outside. Yeah, outside. <laughs> he don't care because they're not paying him to That's do what the he class said to work. Me. He's, like, he's like, yeah, bro. He's like, but I don't get a check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, the check would have that inspiration, man. Yeah, they're not paying me to do this, man. I can't, I can't step I can't step too much. I was like, I've been like critique his work. I'm like, Juice, I know you can do better than this, bro. He's like, yeah, but I was working on this thing for Alpha Gang. So I'm just, yeah, yeah, I got to make it dope. Because this is this is this is this is where it's at. No, yeah, but yeah, yeah. At, yeah, that, yeah. at that time, we weren't putting anything in our portfolio. At that time, no, no, this, this is, is yeah. this is freshman year. You see my yeah. freshman year work, work now. Bro. Freshman year was, was so boo boo, bro. Boo boo, it's it not, was not in my not portfolio, good. man. <laughs> Do you remember the circles and like boxes stuff, dude? Like I, I was like, why are we doing this, dude? It all makes sense now. Now it looking makes sense, back, but back, back then I'm, I'm like, like yeah, I'm, I'm not doing this, blah, blah, uh, yeah. blah. you know? <laughs> but now, like, oh, Now I'm like, okay, why. this clicks, why I learned all these principles and like did all this, yeah, did all yeah. this stuff that at the time like I was the fundamentals. like, dude, yeah. that whole first semester, first, second semester, I was questioning what I was doing with my life. I was like, well, <laughs> I questioned, I, I questioned call? the whole time until like sophomore year, the last semester of sophomore year. Yeah. When we did that big project. That's when the, I the conference. I, yeah, that's yeah. when I was like, oh, like I'm take, gonna take my 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 work in school serious, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, because because that was the first project I put on my port, portfolio. Right, and yeah. we're we're more commercial designers. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So, and I think a big thing like with me, it's like I love KU design program, but there's a lot of editorial stuff, and that's not really my thing. Like Illustrator and all the basics. No more like more like type. books and stuff. Books, like that. type, oh, magazine okay. work. I did see you guys do a lot of font styles and, and stuff that's cool. Too. But yeah. like, I think we're we're more about like the advertising aspect. You're more about the branding. The branding yeah, aspect. Brand. Yeah. Yeah. So there's not a there's not a KU is not like um, your professors are not focusing towards branding. No, they do. I think when you get to more like junior, senior year, that's when you get to really decide mm -hmm. what know, avenue you want to go yeah, down. Yeah, what you want to do. So you two know you want to do branding for yeah, sure. Yeah, they do a good job of like setting you up, setting you up for success. Yeah, like, yeah. more like, like big media stuff. You know, yeah. you want to go like big media. You do big media stuff. You know, you want to do books yeah. and publications. You do publication right, stuff. Exactly. You do type. So I mean, it's not bad right now. I yeah. met I met one of your professors, uh, Andrea. <laughs> Funny, she's Andrea's hilarious. wild. She's, hilarious. she's yeah. wild, and I heard she was assistant dean. I was like, she's lit. <laughs> she's cool. She's so. so cool. I didn't know she was the dean, assistant dean. Like, I was like, yeah, really? Andrea, she's really cool, cool yeah, for yeah. this. She's she's really cool. Cool. She said, "I'll be keeping up with y'all's podcast." <laughs> Did she really? Oh gosh. I said, "Oh, gosh. I love you, Andrea. <laughs> if you're watching this, I can't do a heart." But there we go. <laughs> well, she's gonna yeah, watch she's this one for sure. Cool, yeah. <laughs> for she's sure, my cool. But um. You guys, uh, Vegas, you turned 21. Was your 21st? 21st. 21st. Wow, that's dope. Happy belated birthday, Thank man. Thank you, bro. Yeah. What did you bring back from Vegas, bro? Uh, memories, I guess. I don't know. Memories I, for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> but, memories to share? <laughs> some, some we probably shouldn't share. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Dude, that's the truest statement ever. Like, bro. I'm looking back, like... I'm You're like, like I'm not telling nobody. I'm like, this that. Is, I'm like, there's some stuff that happened. Like, I can't say. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff, bro. Crazy. Uh -huh. My dad was talking about juice on our drive back because it was just me and him on the drive back because everyone was flying back out to KC. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, Juice is such an interesting person. <laughs> and I was like, why do you say that? And he was like, he just on his own program, man. <laughs> He's like, he's like, he'll just disappear, and all of a sudden he'll come back with like, he's like, oh yeah, I just made this connection with this person. He's gonna be hooking me up. Yeah, he's he's working. He's a networker. He's working. I'm like, man. he's networking wasted. He's working. Like, he's like, hey yo, hey, where's your iPhone? Job don't stop, man. Job don't stop. Because he did send me pictures. He's like, dude, I'm with the tic, uh, TikTok uh, distributor, yeah. marketer, dude, or whatever. Left. He he left by that. I ended up with this TikTok private party, bro. I'm TikTok like, private party. He snuck in, got a heck? fake badge and everything. <laughs> he, it was a real badge. It was real. We, I was it about was to real. leave, right? And he's on the forum signing up for CES. <laughs> 
and all of a sudden I see him take a picture and he's like, <laughs> I was like, why'd you just take a picture like that? I was like, that looked really like awkward. And he's like, oh, it's it's the badge for the picture. So his badge of his picture is like. <laughs> it's on his fridge too. I put it on my fridge. It's on his fridge. It's on his fridge. <laughs> Do you you can speak pigeon now though, right? A L- little bit, a little bit. I know some stuff. So right yeah, now I started chance pigeon things. now. You go bob what they talk. I, mean. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know the bu- I know the bunda. I know all. Oh, come on, man. Bunda, bunda is is uh, kind of UK kinda slang. slang. UK slang, yeah, yeah but it's mixed. Slang. Ghana but it's, and England is yeah, mixed like, together. It's mixed yeah. together. Yeah. yeah. So, so what's 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 his phrase for the day? I'll give you the chance to give him his phrase for the day. Phrase for the day. Uh, should I say something that people will understand or real <laughs> deep pigeon? Whatever you want to say, and then we 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 because anytime I edit, I'm gonna put it. They're gonna understand. Little subtitle. Yeah, I, I'll give you. It. I'll give him one, and you give him one. Okay. Charlie Mick, we go top da bunda. You got it. <laughs> Charlie, make we go tap that bunda. Maybe go see that bunda? No, no, no. You're no, supposed you to repeat it. exactly how we're oh, saying oh, it. Just repeat oh, it. Yeah, yeah, don't translate. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. no, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah, you don't yeah. got to translate. Wait, say it, say it one more time. Charlie, make we go tap that bunda. Charlie, we make go tap that bunda. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why when, uh, cause this is how we look at it as Africans, as Ghanaians, why when foreigners try to translate, they make the voice so like deep and thick. like, <laughs> that is true. Like I you, guess I did do that. Yeah. You sound like you're from, uh, from Zimbabwe or something. Like you don't even sound Ghanaian. <laughs> I guess that's my impersonation of Jews cause you got a deep voice. But I also think it's cause that's what they show you on TV. That's true. So you're like, oh, I gotta yeah. go. I gotta go to coming to America tone right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. But good attempt, good attempt, good attempt. Man. I tried. That was I tried. a great yeah. attempt, though. Great one. Great yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that, but. No, nah, we'll take I think it. you did pretty well for the first time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's your first time trying, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you did pretty well. Yeah. Pretty good. You say it sometimes, I'm like, bro, I, say that one more time. I can't understand you. <laughs> He's not going to get it. We got to take you to Ghana is what we need to do. I'm oh, down. You need he to told, go to Ghana. He told me bro. I should go to Ghana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to go to Ghana, man. We'll Different take you, place. We'll take, you, we'll take you to Ghana and find you a Ghanaian wife or something. <laughs> For the summer. Oh, okay. for, the, <laughs> for, the for the summer. summer. For the summer. Because <laughs> apparently Caden does only summer girlfriends, man. Winter, I spring, guess. fall is I, all. Is all off limits. I'm off working. Limits. He's working. <laughs> he's busy. Work he's, season. Only, he's only free during summertime, ladies. <laughs> but yeah, we'll take you to Ghana and find you an African wife, man. Oh, for only gosh. summertime. She's going to cook really well for you, though. If that's you what, like that's food. That's what Juice saying. He's like, bro. He's like, she'll take care of you. Ah. She'll take really good care of you, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. No that's joke. Crazy. That one. <laughs> more more loyal than the Lawrence girls. Oh, bro, <laughs> way loyal. <laughs> Have you dated a Lawrence girl before? Close to, but not not he like was close, close, but not yeah. not. Uh, yeah, I didn't get to that point. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, man, Caden. TSB. TFB. 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 I keep I keep T- switching T-S-B. it up, man. Uh, we're hitting our hour mark. Um, I want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode. We got TFB. What's good, Nana? <laughs> man, he's always <laughs> fucking up that the, the, Dude, the why, outro. Why right? do I have to say my name so many times? Come because on, because it's got to stick. They heard with it them, at the man. start. Dirty man. juice, dirty juice, dirty juice, bro. <laughs> dirty juice. We got dirty juice. But thank you guys for tuning to another episode of the Cruise Line Podcast. Let's go. Thank you guys. Can't wait to see you guys next Sunday. And are there any last words you want to tell them, Kaden, before we go off? This is the Cruise Line Podcast. You got King Alpha and Juice. Yes, we sir. Out. Three, <laughs> two, one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yo, Rachel, what's up? Rachel,